Just refence the horses under the lime tree, which is humming, humming with bees. Dangerous pet. Oven mitt's beginning to come out in the mornings more regularly. Keep his company. Net raids bats. Net raids. I have to go turn the electric fence on now. Yeah. yeah. But the horses are doing a really nice job mowing here. They're in the new section. You can see the longer grass. So they've got a day there, and then they move on to the next one beyond, under the chestnut trees. But you can see they've done a great job here. They've mowed everything right down. And manured. And manured. All over the place. So this will all grow back more and as I walk backwards in time, in grass time, the grass gets longer and longer because it's grown from where the horses have grazed. There's a term I was taught by a farmer once, graze it, ra race it, mow it, slow it. So here you can see the grass is there's a bit of manure left here, but the dung beetles are doing really good jobs on it. But the further back I get over here, the more green and lush the grass is. Because they mowed it a while ago and all the clovers are coming up. You can see clovers are blooming here. Clover leaves. Yes, poppers. The big fellow is lying in the lusher grass and the rams are here grazing the lusher grass at this end of the field because it's about three weeks this is three weeks the horses were here and this is the lusher field there's still some of the uh bits of dandelion and uh, dandelion daffodil these are the old daffodils drying off. This is the field that had all the daffodils. But you can see it's getting lovely, thick and lush again. And the rams are enjoying it, as is the big fella. So now I've got to turn the electric on. It's a solar powered electric. So, oh, wait a minute, that goes there. And that goes there. And here's the solar panel. And I turn that baby on. And you check to see the lights flashing. I don't know if you can see, there's the lights flashing. And this is the panel. And it works very well. So you put that one there for the grounding and this is to make the fence electric. Isn't that right, oven mitt? And here, this section here, is the path to the water. There's the water trough for the horses. So they have a path to the water from where they're grazing just over the other side of that lime tree. Here's the walnut tree, who I harvested nuts from the other day, and they're coming up. It's rather brilliant. I'm rather pleased with that, because that tree's never produced walnuts until last year.